I will share my screen once um, the app is up. So, so tonight will be um, I will be going back. I will be going back to where we started yesterday, like using the grids and um, other um, other tools to to make icons or logos. So, but before that, I want to explain some things about um, logos, branding, and the likes. <clears throat> so yeah because as a, as, a, as a designer you have to understand what um, what is a logo what is branding as a whole um what is um what you have to understand all those terminology because um one way or the other you will have to work with people um along the line along the line um you have to work with people um, so you have to understand the concept of um logo brand identity and all those things so first of all i would like to explain what um a logo is so basically a logo is an identity of um, a business or organization or a or an entity so a logo is an identification like an identity of an entity so identification let's, let's assume in, um, there is a business now so the identity of that business is their logo for example now MTN the identity of MTN now is um, the MTN text and the over shape around it because that's the new logo of MTN. So that's what people see. That's what people can easily identify MTN as publicly. So that logo is like their identity. Get their identity. So let me know if you can see my screen right now. If you can see my screen, just um, use an emoji. So I'm sure we are on the same um, page. yeah nice nice so so um so a logo is just an is is an entity so when it comes to brand um a brand a brand a brand is basically everything that has to do about an entity so the brand goes beyond just the logo so a brand goes just beyond um, um the logo that people see a brand goes beyond it goes um has to do with the service the the company or the entity is offering has to do with um the uh they has to do with so many things about an entity now so that's how that's what branding is branding has to do with everything about the business about the organization about um an entity so that's what branding so tonight we'll be diving into the first step of um creating a creating a logo um, for brands like creating an icon for brands for example now you we all, we all know about twitter so let me let me start by creating a new document <clears throat> so yeah so i believe this is just the basic thing creating the document so i will be importing um an image in right now <clears throat> so open. i'm trying to so i want to explain something to to you guys So yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um so for example now we all know about Twitter. So Twitter is um is a social media platform and uh, that helps, that gives people the access to um uh, do micro blogging. So Twitter has this icon as their logo, and this is basically how the icon was constructed. You can see this icon was constructed using circles. You see, everything here was done using circles, and so those are the things that we'll be doing tonight: how to create icons, how to um, create logos using um, guides, and one of the guides is um, grids. And golden circle, grids and golden circle. So basically, let's let us say circle. So tonight I'll be, I might be creating, uh, let's say different, uh, different icons tonight. So, so I will just I will I will, I will make sure I, exp I I explain better so you can get you can get it. So for now I don't have the sketch of what I want to create. I don't have um like um a sketch 
because normally if you want to create an identity you have to a logo you have to um at least do something down and see okay and that that would that would serve as a guide for what you want to create that will serve as a guide for what you plan to achieve at the end so first of all my ruler is not enabled so i'll, I'll click on control hard to enable my ruler control hard so you see the ruler comes out just pressing control and the next thing i want to do now is i want to start creating my grid yesterday i told i i remember i told us yesterday that we can easy we can enable the grid from here from 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 here windows then you see where's the grid uh, where's the grid so i'm trying to get that so yeah you can come here and um you see show grids you can see show grids so this is how you show your grids but now we want to create our own aside from this we want to create our own so i will be taking this off um images image please so i think so yeah so now the what, what i will be using is the line to i'll be using the line to to create my grid so then i come here i come right here which is uh, i come under the, the shape the shape to under the shape to you can see an arrow just click on the arrow or right click on the arrow you see the line segment that i'll be using the line segment to to create my own grid so you can see click on the line segment tool then you can see you can draw it you can draw your line by just dragging it around click click put old click and drag old click and drag so you can get it but for me i want to get a straight line so i use my shift so i want to get it so i use my shift to get a straight line so you can see so because i use my shift so i leave that so and you can change your stroke size your stroke is just like the how big you want your line to look like you can change it up here under the control the control panel <clears throat> so but then i want it to just be at one so one is fine by me so now you can see this line has been created now you can see it has been created so but i want to make this line um i want to make multiple um multiple lines like this but i don't want to start coming here and start creating line again so no i don't want to start i don't want to start doing that what do i need to do click on this line um copy this line or duplicate this line and start over again you can do it several ways you can just say ctrl c and ctrl v you can see it comes out instantly but i won't i would not want to do that you can do like this right click right click um um i think somewhere around this so let me just use the method i want to use click So let me just use um, the method I want to use. Click, then hold Alt, hold down the Alt key or Option key on Mac or now on Mac um, laptops. So hold on the Alt key or the Option key, then drag with your left click, drag it out. You see, Ctrl Z. Hold on the Alt key or the Option key and left click, drag it out. You can see. You can see that that's simple so i want to create other ones i'll just select these two lines and repeat the process alt click so now don't bother about the spacing between the uh between the lines i'll we we, we do that later select it and um you see and click you can see we now have like we, are, we now have eight lines but how are we sure the spacing between them are right? How do we know? How do we get the spacing to be equal? So select all, 
and you come to the align um the align to right here the align to right here helps you um to um to get the spacings right just distribute right you see uh so once you press this right so the spacing between each of the lines uh becomes equal yeah so now i want to make sure everything is aligned so align top you can see everything at the top and beneath is aligned the line is now aligned together so now i want to create another version of this line but i don't want i don't want it to i don't want it to uh I want to create um, another version of this line, but that one will be slant, a slanted version of it. So what do I do? I select all, I copy, Ctrl C, and I, if I want to paste right now, I do not press Ctrl V because if I press Ctrl V, it's, it's, it it um, takes everything outside the line. So I just press Ctrl C, then Ctrl Shift V. Now it is pasted, but you can't see it. You can see it is there, but it is pasted on that line. So what do I need to do now? I want to rotate this um, line in a particular angle. So you might choose any angle you want. It, 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 depending on the project you want to do, you might choose. You can experiment. You can. I can just do it like this. You can see this is how you rotate. Once it is selected, come over any of the anchor points. You can see the it's the the pick two automatically changes when it comes over the anchor point so you rotate a rotation tool so just click on it and rotate to that angle that you wish. You can see the angle is reading beside it that's 35.64 degree so but i think i want around let me see i want uh i want something around yeah something like this 225 let me just put it this way like this let's say this is what i want do you get so now let's assume this is this is what i want to use to create my icon right here right so let permit me to just copy this out because i might be needing this later yeah, i will need this later so so let's say this is what i want to use now seeing these things now you can now construct your icon from this you can now construct the icon you want to construct from this so far you have your you have your um you have your sketch your sketch will determine uh, how many grids how the rotation of the grid the rotation of the lines it will determine the rotation of the lines how you, how it will look like so because now i actually don't have a sketch that i'm simple maybe by tomorrow i will get the sketch available um, then we can we can start um, from from there. So yeah. So if you are still with me and if you are getting me, um, kindly put an emoji on the chat box so I know we can continue. Yeah. yeah so um we are still going to do several samples we're not just doing this one alone we're still going to do other samples so by the time we do like four different um icons i think by then we should be able to get you'll be able to get what we are trying to um, trying to do so now let's um select all. for you to now create anything with this thing you've created you have to select everything and you can do that by just using the cell using the selection tool right here and click over all the lines all together automatically it select all the lines then the tool you are going to use to create your icon is here the shape is called the shaped the shape builder tool and the shortcut for that is shift m shift plus m shift plus m so you come here you can click on it right here so i want to create an icon um i don't know but i'll just i'll just create the icon from this from this guide so let's um let's start so and um for me to create an icon um you can see the line you can see anytime i click on any of the 
column any of the enclosed column it brings in uh let me zoom in it brings in a kind of uh like it's selected it brings in like a a a a, a dark a gray a gray color that it means that that place is is available for selection if i should come out here you see it does not bring it because it is not enclosed but for every enclosed column it brings out a gray uh, color over it that is showing you know, that it can be selected as and it can be selected to be to be made as an icon as a shape you can select it to make uh, to make shape so now you can see um coming right here you can see that there is a plus sign beside the selection tool there is a plus sign on that if i want to minus if i press shift the sign changes but because of what we are doing we are, we are trying to match all these columns together to build what to build an icon to build a logo to, to create a logo so we will not bother using the alt key because we don't we are not subtracting yet so if we need to subtract i will let you know so let's continue now so i want to create something like um that looks like a circle but not a circle uh, from this so i'll be starting right from here so you can see i will draw it from here right there draw it down draw it down draw it down draw it down uh yeah draw it down so so let's let's leave it like this you can see i've i've created i've created this shape out of this selection right here you can see so if i want to add this one if i want to add this to it now i can easily add this to it and by just what by just clicking it by just clicking right here you can see it has been added like so like so like that so now what do i do the next thing i do is what um i give it um a color and it come right here give it a color right here okay now okay so you see if you click on it on any of the boundaries give it a color okay as you can see we've created this um, out of this guide you can see you can see what we've created out of this guide this is like a logo for a this can serve as a logo for a, a brand can somebody can somebody see this I will, I, will, I will go over this again so we can so somebody can know what we are, we are not is it hello are we still on the same page please yeah okay so i will be creating another icon with this same um with the same principle with this same. so this is the first one we've created so let down we can change the color to any color you want right now because it has been it has been it has become a shape so you can change the color you can change it to anything so it has an outline so i, I will like to remove the outline so right here is the um, um color the color for the for the icon right here is a stroke so you can move the stroke by clicking here none so it takes away any outline from from that so that's the first thing we created so now let's take that out so let's bring another one in so i believe we all understand how these grids these lines were created so if you understand kindly uh press i understand if you don't understand say i do i do not understand so i can know what to do okay please don't be don't be scared don't be ashamed to say i don't understand ah mr Raphael, you, you came in late so you might have to just watch the class over again because we've started before you came in so yeah so where's yeah so i think um we can continue now so we've created this um shape we've created this shape out of um the
okay so let me let me do let me for the sake of those that came late and for the those for the sake of those that said they don't understand so let me go over it again so let me go over it again so we know <clears throat> so the first thing first thing first you choose the line segment to rise from the shape to use we are using the line segment tool so and then you you got you click cancel you click and you drag so you you hold on shift you hold on your you hold down your shift key to make a straight line so after that is done click leave it then come to the move to, to the selection tool so i said you can multiply this line in several ways you can either click on it press ctrl c and press ctrl v you can see that's one way you can multiply the line you can see that right there now another way, another way you can do it is click on the line and hold and press your alt or option key for mac users alt or option key for mac users so click on alt and drag you see and drag it up you see that's another way to multiply the lines you can see that so for those that don't understand you can as this catch up with that now so you doing that now you have to um you repeat the same process you know i don't want to start coming here and start um making lines that's that would be too stressful so what what do i need to do i select these two lines and alt click and drag them out you get so because i want to make who's that please So because ah who is playing Fuji for us? So let's um let me start over. let me start again. So I've created the first line. That that one is um that one I think I believe that, that one is understood. For you to create the second line, or click on the on or click on that line and drag it out. Drag by pressing left click, as you can see right here. So because I don't want to start repeating the process of drawing each line over and over again, that would be too stressful. So I want I select the two line using the selection tool. I will drag over the selection tool this way, then or click and drag that one too. You can see but there is an issue you have to make sure that the distance between your lines are equal but don't bother about that yet just make the number of lines you want to make but for this i want to make eight lines you see i want to make eight lines you can see i've made my eight lines but i'm not sure if the distance between the lines are equal or they are distributed so what do i do i click over the lines as you can see then i come right here horizontal distribute right so this will help me get distribute them and have the same distance so what do i do i click over this i align them on the top so now i have a line i have my lines aligned now for me to create the other one which is the slant line what do i need to do i select all these lines okay what's the question please how would you know the exact number of lines to do yeah um the thing is there is no there is it depends on the figure you want to create it depends on um that shape that you want to create there are some complex shapes you might have to create more than eight lines there are some shapes that are complex that we require that you create more lines it's it's you you know the number of lines you want to create based on the type of icon you want to create you get you create um lines based on the type of what of the icons you want to create that's how you know the number of lines you will create but as if you if you are that means you have to you have to first of all have your icon sketched out on paper snap your icon bring it right here on illustrator that will be we'll be doing that tomorrow i'll be demonstrating that to us tomorrow i will sketch an icon tomorrow bring it right on illustrator and you will see how i will create the lines do you get did it so that's how we do that tomorrow so now for me to create this slanted this slanted line select all 
select all control c but instead, instead of pressing control v to paste because when you press control v now it um it destroy it it um distorts the line so take control z I'll, I'll use control shift v now it is pasted but i cannot see that it is pasted but how do i know i will come right here over the shape and the rotation tool is activated then you rotate it to the angle or to the side you want to create so maybe something like this if you like then that's then that's that for that as you can see so but that's that how to create how i multiply the light believe now by now mr rafael and others should now understand so if you now understand now kindly click on the telegram the telegram chat box that's okay i understand but if you don't understand yet you can just be patient look at how we are going to then you can later reference the recorded version once it is released so let's continue so this is the one i created earlier so this is the one i created earlier so i'll be bringing it um, to the canvas yeah Oh, thank God everybody now understand. So I will just, I will take my time to explain better. So we are not rushing. Just believe we are not uh, we are not in a rush. Nobody's um. So now, uh, so this this icon we've created looks like A, right? This looks like A. So I'll be creating the letter what the letter B of this. Now, so see this is how I created. I select all the lines together as you can see, and then I come over here and take my what. The shape builder tool, which is a tool we'll be using to create what the icon. Click on shape builder tool. The next thing you want to do is any line that is not any column that is not enclosed cannot be selected. As you can see, this piece cannot be selected because it is not enclosed. This piece cannot be because any piece that is enclosed that has four lines binding it can be selected and it can be shown. You will see that um, it can be shown by the gray lines inside. So, what do we do? now i want to create that letter b so i i will come right here i will start right here i will click right here so how does b looks like b looks like this uh b looks like this how does b looks b looks like this b looks like this this b as you can see right this b so we've created our b sign so what do we need to do next click on the boundary lines of the shape we just created click on it and give it a color right here boom oh no so come over here again click on it okay you can see the you can see that right here you see we've created what the b shape so you can bring it out you can copy it, control C, you can drag it out any way you feel you want to do it, but I will be dragging this out. B you can see. You can see right there. B. You can change the color to white. You can use that the eye dropper tool to change the color. See this is the eye dropper tool. Click on the eye dropper tool and click on the color you want to change it to, like this background now white, and it automatically change to white. You see, boom. You see this is how we've created a and b of this um we've created a and b from the lines that we've just created so i'll be creating up to i'll be creating a b c d e f hmm? so i'll be creating all those ones so i believe um with this over time we'll all understand so i'm bringing this down this right here so so i'll be using um this line again yeah so i'm using this line again because i want to get the same dimension the same dimension for the letters i'll be creating the same size you can see that the a is not bigger than the b because i use the same line the same distance um is between all the lines so i will get the same obviously i will get any shape I'm creating, I will get the same dimension for it. So every shape, one is not bigger than the other because we are using the same, <coughs> the same line. So, so now we are creating the letter C. By now, we know how these lines are created.
we select all the lines together using the selection tool and then we come to the shape builder tool right here then we create the word the letter c how does c looks like c looks like this like this like so like so no let me go back i think c looks like this like so like so like so yeah like so that's letter c it's a c so we create a letter c so now we cannot give the letter c its color no. let's see its color let's click on it which is a let's say black no So let me just use the idea part so instead of going over here, use the idea part to click on this automatically get that for you then you can drag this out yeah but i feel this is not um uh, this does not look well so i will, I will go over it again so i feel like i should have more <clears throat> uh more of this click select all come over here again and add some other add some other places to it yeah yeah so add this right yeah add this right yeah so no that's bad that's bad and yeah i think yeah c c looks good this way our c looks good this way as you can see our c looks good this way so yeah I feel it looks it looks good this way. Yeah. So but I'm not sure they are the same distance with each other. So yeah, they the same distance. You can see. You can see everything right here is the same um shape, the same distance from each other. <clears throat> so now um you can make everything come <clears throat> come together so you can see that now don't want that so i'm trying to bring them to the same line i'm using this yeah a line at the top a line below no a line at the top oh let me use this so then to put them yeah you can see now we've created a b c so now let's create a Let's create um, the letter D. Yeah. So, right here. So, we'll be creating the letter D now using the same method. So, we'll be creating the letter D now using the same method select all the lines so i'll be doing up to e so i'm doing up to e so by that by then i think we should now all understand how it is how it is done so yeah click right here so the next one we are creating now is what the letter d so i think we can start right here yeah no let's start right here right yeah no yeah so in case you have any mistake like you can easily press ctrl z and start all over again you can see that so, but I think that is too much distance. You can see that's D done and dusted. So you can give it your color. You see? 
it out change it to white yeah see that so we've created a b c and what and d so next we'll be creating the e so yeah so the same process again click on this come here then create what the letter e and remember we are just creating small letters so come over here 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 so how does the letter e looks like though I don't know how the letter E looks like. Let me try, let me try and type to get um, clearer. Yeah. So how to use this to get a clearer view of what E looks like? So I'll select this again. Um, because this will actually help me get how I'll make my constructions. So I'll come here. I'll come right here. I'll come right here, right, yeah, so, and I'll come right here, and I'll come right here, yeah, you see, I got my letter E, so that's that, so click on this to give it a color, now, this, you can choose the black color, the black color is down here already, so you can see that it's quite um it's not hard as it looks you can see so basically this is how you can create your your icons you can use this line to create your icons but these lines this you can use this lines um you can use these lines um in a, in a multiple you can use it um in creative ways depending on the sketch that you have depending on um that's so by tomorrow i'll be creating a sketch and we'll be creating a logo using that sketch okay so tonight now is there is there any question so before we end the class because we started this i don't want to suspend um uh, more than one hour tonight because it's, it's getting late already so if there's any question kindly um type on the chat box so we answer the question and um we move move yeah <clears throat> so is there any question hello Okay, you don't have a question. Do you have any do you have any other person with a question? So we Okay. So Mr. Raffel, um, please let me know if you now understand, please. Okay, so I think um we can um close tonight class. I believe um. Um, tonight has been um, a great investment from your end um, and I believe you've actually had um, you've gained something from tonight's class so tonight's class will be uploaded hopefully tomorrow and then um, you can easily go back to it and see uh, things that you did not understand go over it and see if there are things that you need to um, go over again 
Is there anything you maybe during the course of the class you forgot or something? You can easily go over there. Okay, I will I will watch the recording. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So yeah. So thank you so much for um showing up tonight. So we continue tomorrow night, and I believe um so kindly let us I will, I will try as much as possible to start by eight o'clock tomorrow, so we can have more time to um to practice and create um other icons we create we create our own icon then we, we try to replicate um other icons that we've that have been created before we see how the process looks like you see how you can um create your own icon for as many people that own a business here yeah, that owns a brand you should be able after after this week class you should be able to create a brand a an icon for your business, a logo for your business, um, whatever it is. So I believe uh, tonight it's a wonderful class. Thank you so much. Um, God bless. So I opened my I opened my AI and it's showing black. Black as how? Black I don't understand. So if you can send um the screenshots to the group, I think it will be appreciated. Yeah, if you can send that to the group, I think um, to be appreciated so